הנושא השני זה אמת ושקר. התורה לא רק אומרת לנו לא תשקרו, היא אומרת לנו מדבר שקר תרחק. וזה לא משנה אם אני משקר לאיש או לאישה, לגוי, ליהודי, הכל אסור. וזה לא רק אסור לשקר, זה אסור להטעות, to trick someone. Uh, ולכן כתוב מדבר שקר תרחק. צריכים להתרחק, to be far away, מדבר שקר. אם אני אומר דבר בפה, אני כותב את זה בעיתון, אני כותב את זה באינטרנט, אני כותב את זה באימייל, בפייסבוק, באינסטגרם, בטוויטר, anywhere. אם זה שקר, זה שקר. זה לא משנה אם אמרתי את זה בפה, וזה לא משנה אם כתבתי את זה בטקסט או משהו אחר. אפילו אם אמרתי משהו שנשמע כמו דבר טוב, אבל אני אומר את זה בצורה שהם לא יבינו את זה. It's ambiguous. יש לזה שני אופנים, שני פירושים. And I purposely אמרתי את זה בדרך שההורים לא יבינו, או שהמורה לא יבין. I say, oh, I'm late to class because I was talking to this teacher, to that teacher, and really all I said was hi to them. That's not why I was late to class. אז אני אומר דבר שהם יבינו דבר אחד, ובאמת אני מתכוון לדבר אחר. זה גם שקר, כי לא רק כתוב לא תשקרו, כתוב מדבר שקר תרחק. You have to stay away from שקר. אפילו אם אמרתי משהו ואמרתי את האמת, אבל חיסרתי, החזרתי. I left out את הפרטים, את ה-details. זה גם כן שקר. <coughs> אני בא הביתה עם המכונית, ואני אמרתי, uh, I'm sorry, לא באתי הביתה עם המכונית, השארתי את זה אצל חבר, ולא אמרתי להורים that I smashed it up, אמרתי, המכונית נמצאה אצל החבר, it's at Joe's house. אבל לא אמרתי להם שאני ממש הרסתי את המכונית, it's, it's, it's totally totaled, ואני לא אמרתי את זה, זה שקר. אף על פי שלא אמרתי שום דבר שזה שקר, leaving out details that are important, זה גם שקר. Um, לפעמים אני לא צריך אפילו לדבר, אני לא מדבר כלום. אני רק אומר רמיזה. I nod my head when someone asks you something. And really, I mean, no, but I'm saying yes with my head. Nodding up and down instead of back and forth. זה שקר. אף על פי שלא אמרתי שום דבר. אני לא צריך לומר שום דבר. Bottom line, this is the basic rule of all sheker ve'emet. I don't measure sheker by what I say. I measure sheker by what's understood. And ze lo nimdad lefi ha-medaber, ze nimdad, it's measured al pi havanat ha-shomea. Im hu hevin mashu ze ze lo nachon, because I said a certain way, ze sheker. It's not about what I say. It's about what's understood. Ze ha-klal ha-gadol. בשקר ואמת. יש דברים שהם uh, לא כל כך רעים uh, עם אדם הוא סוחר, he's a businessman, והוא אומר, I'm not going up down in price, I'm not going down in price, this is my final offer, uh, you want to buy it, buy it, or I'm buying something, I'm not going up in price, this is my final offer. People talk like that. זה גוזמה וזה מותר, כי כל אחד מבין שככה עושים ביזנס. אוקיי? יש Uh, דברים שהם אסורים והם דומים לשקר. Uh, דיברנו על הונאת ממון. אל תונו איש תמיתו, זה נקרא הונאת ממון. I call someone to suffer with his money. אני אומר לאדם שלא מכיר אייפונס בכלל, I'll sell you my iPhone 4. for a thousand dollars. I'm telling you, iPhone sell for a thousand dollars. זה נכון. אם אני קונה את השמונה, אבל אם אני קונה ארבע, זה לא לאלף דולר, but he doesn't know any better. זה הונאת ממון, I'm overcharging for something. You're not allowed to overcharge more than the market value. מה שמוכרים את זה בשוק. It's true that there are different market values. If I sell a soda, a can for four dollars at Kennedy Airport, that's the price. Okay, could be the price. Okay, aval be yeshiva flapush, the low le'arba dollar. And if someone's paying that, I'm overcharging. Now, if he's willing to pay it because he's so thirsty, ze ma'ashu acher. Aval imu lo yodea, v'ani merameh oto, I'm tricking him. Ze ha'isur shalot tonu yit ha'ish et achiv, ona'at mamon, I'm lying to him using his money. 
מי שאומר עדות שקר בבית דין, in court, זה איסור דרייטה, it's one of the עשרת הדיברות, לא תענה ברכה עד שקר. Someone who lies with salaries, פיקדון, בשכר שכיר, with rentals, לא תככשו ולא תשקרו איש ברביתו, זה פסוק שמדבר במיוחד על business. פיקדון, I'm watching something and I'm paying you to do it, and I'm pay, underpaying you, I'm over uh, charging you, or I, I take a loan and I lie to you about the loan, or I, I'm renting something and I don't pay you the right market value. זה איסור דרייטה, זה גם, it's a type of גניבה, but I'm also lying to you about what's, what's acceptable, okay? ולכן כשאני אומר דבר לאדם אחר, זה חשוב לומר בלי נדר. Sometimes I say something and I'm not sure about it. And if I'm not sure, ואני אומר בלי נדר, I'm not promising you. בלי נדר, it's just a little safer to say בלי נדר. If I, we did this already, on האט דברים, tell someone to go somewhere to buy something and I know they're not going to sell it there. Or come back tomorrow, I'll pay you. And I know I'm not going to pay him tomorrow. Go over these questions. It's a good idea to go over these questions. Okay? Yesh mikrim she mutar l'shaker. Mutar l'shaker mim nea shalom. You're trying to create peace in your family. And you lie to your brother. And you tell your brother that you did something wrong. Because you know if you told him that his wife did something wrong, he'd get really upset at her. So you say, no, I did it. Don't worry. I'm not trying to get out of punishment. I'm actually putting myself into punishment. But that's okay. And we learned that in class. I'm trying to prevent someone from getting hurt. I'm doing it for magnanimous reasons. Not personal. Not for my personal gain. I'm doing it altruistically. I'm trying to help other people. They shouldn't get hurt. I won't hurt their feelings. מותר לשקר, ולכן גם מותר לשקר לכלה, someone getting married. בית שמאי אומרים, no, tell her what she looks like, but that's disgusting. בית הלל אומרים, no, כלה, נאה, לחסודה, always tell a bride she looks beautiful, always tell a woman she looks beautiful, it's always a good thing to do, okay? לגבי שידוך, someone's coming to you about marrying someone, do not tell any lies, tell them exactly what what you need to tell them. Now, how you tell them, you should ask advice, and we're going to come to advice in a minute. If you're telling a eulogy, hesped, hesped is a eulogy. That's a fourth example. Mutar lahagzim, mutar lomar ha'adam hazeh, he's the nicest guy I ever met. Im ze lo nachon, okay, ava hu met. V'ani omer eulogy, v'gam lenachem avilim, to comfort them. Lenachem, you need to know these words, hesped, nichum avilim, I'm not going to explain those words. Nichum avilim, I go to someone who's sitting shiva, someone who lost his whole business, someone who's in a very bad, bad time, and I say, you know what, that happened to me once, and I tell him a whole story because I don't want him to feel bad. Vani would tell us aper lo sipur al adam shemet al al ha business shali. I'm trying to make him feel better. Ze mutar l'shaker ktsat. Again, it's not for my personal gain. I'm trying to help someone else. Um, <coughs> I don't need to show off to people to tell them that I know the whole Masechet Sanhedrin by heart. I know Masechet Prachot. Oh, I know Hilchot Shabbat by heart. I, I don't need to tell people this. And I could lie about it. Even if I do know that by heart, I could say I don't know this by heart. Ze Anava, Ze Adam She Meshaker out of um, humility. Not showing off. If something happened that you're not proud of and it was private between you and your wife or something, you can lie about it. You don't have to tell people what really happened. Um, now here's the main rule. I need to look at it. I can't just call the shots myself. I'm going to lie well, maybe I'm allowed to lie, but I need to ask someone. This is the second big rule. One Rule number one is, That's how we measure lying. You should ask someone you trust, your father, your grandfather, your rabbi. Should I lie? Can I lie in this case? Am I being magnanimous or am I just trying to get away with it? Gnevat da'at zekishani gorem cause, אני גורם לאדם לחשוב שאני עוזר לו ב- 
but I'm not really helping him. Im gemevat daat ledugma. I'm, I'm, we talked about this. I'm hiding something about something I'm selling, and I don't tell him. Uh, that's not right. I'm, I'm not telling him this is a little bit broken. I, I, I shouldn't be doing that. Um, I shouldn't paint something to cover up, uh, paint a car to cover up the, uh, the dent. That, that's onaat dvarim, and it's also genevat daat. I'm, I'm, I'm deceiving him. Ze gam sug shel sheker. I'm selling him something without uh, without telling him the, the whole thing. Okay? Uh, I'm selling him a bunch of fruits. I need a mocher uh, lo a pound shall yirakot, shall shall peirot, but I'm not showing him the bad ones that I hid. Mitachat. Asur lefarsem davar to make a commercial. Vilomar davar shezelo emet. I I I am out of that. I I said I had it. I didn't. I don't have it anymore. Bait and switch. Ze vaday asur. Ze gamkein sheker. Um, you're supposed to say something in the name of someone who said it. If you take credit for it. If you um, if you plagiarize and you take credit for something that you didn't say. I'm tricking the teacher. I'm tricking my parents. I didn't really study. I don't really know it. I copied from someone else. It's a type of plagiarism. Neither of these recordings are meant to uh, 